Uh, I'm going to get that printed. And another thing that I really uh, am excited for is I got this instant peel uh, film up here. So they advertised it as being able to peel the transfer as soon as you take the, or the heat press is removed from the transfer, like as soon as it comes up. So I'm really excited to try that out. That would be a game changer compared to our cold peel transfers. Um, even using like the stack now, peel later method, it's, I would say, slightly slower than if you could just peel it on the press, because then you could also hit it again if you wanted a matte -er look, matte -er look for the transfer, um, because when they first peel the transfer, they can have a gloss effect, which if you want a gloss, leave it as is, but some people prefer matte, so they go ahead and hit it again. So if they could just peel the transfer right away, that would be really nice for them to be able to just keep the tee on the press and press it again to get that matte look for them. Um, I'm really excited to see how these work. I am not sure if it's single or double coated. If it is double coated, I'm a little worried because the last time that I used the double coated film, I had some problems with static electricity building up um, and the powder sticking to the film. If you guys are longtime viewers, you remember that problem. So uh, let's see how this works. I'm going to load up the instant peel film onto the DTF printer and get these designs printed so that we can try them out. All right, guys, got the prints or the all right guys got the instant peel film loaded up and printing uh, i just threw a couple of personal designs that we'll use ourselves on here to give it a test because obviously i don't want to send these transfers out for our customers if the film isn't like perfect you know um, so just running a couple of tests with some personal designs gonna press these out see how they work if it actually is instant peel and how the static buildup goes on uh, the machine, hopefully the powder doesn't stick to the film. We're going to give it a good try and see how things go. I will keep you updated. All right, guys, I think it's about 145. Yeah, 144. Um, I printed this shirt of my cat. Um, tried out the halftone feature on Digital Factory, and it turned out really cool, actually. I'm not sure if yeah, you guys can see that, kind of. Uh, not too bad because it has that glow so that would have been pretty difficult to pull off without the halftone so that was pretty cool got that uh, situated and then this is the test of the um, insta peel film so I made a uh, if you guys have ever seen like Mr. Beast's videos he has like a frosted uh, t-shirt with that says like beast or whatever so I thought that was super cool wanted to make my own and then I found the font on freepick.com so just made my own there that we're going to heat press onto the uh, tees, give it a test, see how the Insta Peel actually works, does it perform up to our standards, and then we're gonna take it home this weekend and give it a couple of wash tests to see how it actually holds up in the wash and whatnot. Michaela is printing her WW transfer designs. Uh, this is just one of the designs that we are maybe gonna sell on the website. Uh, Creativity Unleashed. And then Limitless Expression, Life is Precious. Just some great motivational uh, wording and then this cool design. So uh, yeah, just uh, kind of hanging out, seeing what's gonna work, what's not gonna work, giving some uh, R&D if you wanna call it that, but honestly, we're just having fun making t-shirts right now. All right guys, got the transfer, got a tester tee loaded up on the press. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. First time on camera with you guys now. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Insta peel, they say. Should be able to peel it as soon as the heat press lets up. Will that happen? Stay tuned for the next five seconds to find out. Michaela, come here. Insta peel, let's go. Nope, that doesn't work very well. Oh, shoot, guys, what the heck? Insta peel, not a true insta peel. Oh man, guys, let's see what we got going on here. We got some ink still left on the transfer. And then, yeah, I don't know, it does not look like it wanted to peel just yet. Maybe I gotta wait like a second or two, but I mean, come on, guys, you guys heard it. Insta peel. Looks pretty good, though. I'm super excited about this design. All right, let's go ahead and try again.
Guys, I got another test loaded up. This is actually a good shirt, so hopefully it works. I'm gonna try waiting like three seconds and maybe not apply as much force as I did last time. So let's see if that works and find out. I'm going to keep it on the heat press though. So we'll see if that makes any difference. All right, give it a little bit of time to cool. I mean, that should be good, honestly, man. Nah, dude, still doesn't want to go. Maybe, but I don't think that's it. If you guys didn't hear that, Mikhail said, did you print it on the wrong side? Again, they did not tell me very clearly which side to print it on. I mean, dude, this isn't even like, yeah, guys, you see this? It's coming up. It does not want to transfer. What the heck is this? set you guys up right here so that you guys can see I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong though I mean I, I got it there but you guys saw those problems I was having hmm what do you guys think that is can you, hopefully you guys can see I did move it huh man it looks good though <laughs> I'll move it over here. Like it looks, <laughs> this looks pretty sick and it's probably me just thinking the design is cool. I'm not sure if the camera's really doing it justice, but there, that's, a, that's pretty actually what it looks like in real life. Not too bad. I just don't know what that could be. I got a few more that I can keep trying it on, so let's uh, keep on experimenting, see what we come out with. All right guys, I am chatting with the guys at DTG Pro right now. Uh, seeing what's going on. They said add a few more seconds and a little bit less pressure. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do Let's See what we got going here. Does it no still coming up a little bit? Hmm Interesting overlay that back see what they say 30 I sent the guy I'm talking to on chat a video um, And he said he'll get back to me. So I guess that's going to leave the insta peel there um, it was kind of making it seem like, yeah, it's a hot pail transfer. What's wrong with waiting 10 seconds? Um, but I don't know. There was this one line in the website, which I'll like pull right here, uh, which like really implies that it's Instapeel. And the name is Instapeel. So there's that. But I don't know. Um, I mean, I really, the whole reason I bought it was for the name Instapeel. Um, other places sell hot pail transfers, so it's not like that's anything uh, to write home about. But yeah. I guess we might have to dial this in. I did try a few settings on my own while I was waiting for him to reply um, and still couldn't out get the transfer to peel instantly. So I don't know. Hopefully he can come back to me with some actionable tips. But that is going to leave uh, this episode where it is. I think this is episode 15 or 16. It's really hard to keep track of this time. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to everybody who has stuck around this long in the video. 